a recession is a decline in economic activity and therefore every time the economy slows down or declines the rate of unemployment rises and that means higher uh, suffering more suffering on the part of uh, society the challenge is uh, the existence of inflation in the economy inflation means an increase in the overall price level and that means at the same time a decline in the buying power of the dollar so uh, this is absolutely very important for consumers for the average folks rising prices are as bad as a declining economy or an economic recession uh, i think the american people should be concerned about the prospects of a recession they should get ready for a possible recession and also they should be very concerned about the inflationary uh, cycle which we are still uh, going through do you often find yourself really caring about the economy in your day-to-day -day life as of right now no i mean when i'm working sometimes i do think about the economy about like how prices have gone up uh, i believe it's important to you know know what's going on in your economy the stock market on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't say I would think about the economy as much as I probably should. It is on my mind, but it is not always on my mind. Do you think that uh, our generation is more or less aware of the economy than they should be? Oh, definitely less. Definitely. Um, I feel like people in a way are kind of just, not I wouldn't say programmed, but it's kind of like everybody's going in one direction, especially our younger generation. As a millennial, I think that we are kind of on the same standpoint as the other generations in the sense that we're still being heavily affected by it, but it, it, it does feel like we do kind of have a step up because we are, actually it's hard, kind of hard to say because I feel like we've seen the good and the bad so far living through one economic crisis already and kind of peering into the next one. It's difficult for me to say if we have an advantage, but we do kind of understand that it does happen and it may, and it has the potential to pass. The economic crash in 2008. No, I don't have no memory. The Great Recession of 2007 2009. There was a major housing bubble in the economy at that point in time. I remember my parents complaining about something with a house in 2008 with the economic crash, but I was too young at that point. I was only four. So, no, I don't really know a whole lot about that. The only thing that I can really remember from back then, because I was still a little on the younger side for that, was it was just like the idea of going out and going in to do things was cut very much short. It was a lot of, you know, pinching pennies where we could as a family and kind of just moving on a very tight budget. So it's kind of how I've moved through this current economic crisis as of right now. I would say in a family sense, the economy is kind of troubling and like, especially thinking about starting a family, it's really troubling to see how things are going right now to think about the cost of living, you know, five to 10 years from now, it could be very concerning. Or, you know, if things kind of reset, it could be kind of nice, who knows? But it is kind of concerning for me personally. Very much so. I mean, I, I'm lucky enough to have my parents help me out to come here. And so I see it as a privilege to be able to get education here and hopefully get a degree to help me make a lot of money out of school. So definitely. Certainly, especially since I'm spending money on it, it's like you might as well get the best of it. Yeah, I would say that my education here at KSU is definitely an investment in the future. Go to college get your degrees and while at college, try to learn as much as possible because that's gonna be one capital, the human capital, which is gonna prevent people from being affected in case of a recessionary cycle or in case of an inflationary cycle. Education always pays and pays big, especially in a competitive economy like the US economy. So. I highly recommend uh, to young people uh, to be very careful and pay a lot of attention to their education and uh, try to learn as much as uh, they can.